Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel and this time it's dark already and I just finished replacing the CV axle on this 2002 Subaru Impreza RS let me show you it's already in the place here is that new beautiful boot and the axle right all the way inside so the job is done but now comes a very important moment. What's about torquing this brand new axle nut? Right, the axle came with the new one. You see, this is the old one, which is in the already worn and bad shape, let's say, right? It was stamped right here. So, this is the new one, and how will I correctly torque it without anybody's help? And some of you might be saying, hey, well, what is doing such a big deal of it? Just get an impact wrench and blast it and you'll be ready to go, right? Good to go. Well, sorry, it's not a true. And I will tell you what the factory manual, right? Subaru factory manual says. They put a lot of caution on this procedure. Number one use a new axle nut number two always tighten axle nut before installing wheel on vehicle if wheel is installed and loose wheel bearings may be damaged number three be sure to tighten axle nut to specify torque do not over tight right like using the impact wrench it as this may damage wheel bearing again, right? So there's another possibility. After tightening axle nut, lock it securely. Now I will also read you what they say how you're supposed to do that. While the pressing brake pedal, right? So you will need somebody in the vehicle, tighten the axle nut to specify torque. The torque for this Subaru on the front is 186 newton meters which is 137 foot pounds of torque now i'm alone here in this garage i will show you how i will deal with it well, i know how important it is to torque it and do it right away so i will use the trick and the trick is this if you look on the brake rotor it's ventilated slotted brake rotor let me show you from here this is way better visible right so there is the hint and now i will show you what i will do so first i went and grabbed my half drive heavy duty snap-on torque wrench and i set it to that 137 foot pounds and then you need obviously right you are experts you need a 30 two six point socket right so that goes on the end of the torque wrench but now how will i stop that axle and everything from rotating that's that's very simple you choose some beefy screwdriver which will still fit in those vents right and you will not damage this brake assembly if you leave it there as a stopper and now nicely when everything stopped right i can carefully correctly torque that axle nut did you hear that i can recheck it one more time right and i know this was perfectly done I can go ahead and remove that screwdriver as you can see there was not much pressure on it that's a beauty of this little trick and I know you didn't forget that the manual said the nut should be locked in the place right so I'm sure you know how it's done but I will just show it anyway right use a hammer and this punch and you basically bend this part of that nut 
So if it will get loose, it cannot start rotating and fall off. So this is what you do. And that's it. I will show you that detail. Hopefully the camera will be able to show it. That stamping right here, right on the top. So you can see that the nut cannot turn. At this situation it's impossible. And this is how it's correctly secured. So it was another quick Subaru video on this channel. Please make sure you are subscribed because I will bring a lot of content about the Subarus on this channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day my friend.